Hey everyone, David Parsons here. Just wanted to share a brief bit from this week's bonus episode up on the Patreon now. It's me and Kyle Reese Mandel talking about the Woodstock 99 documentary. We're both 90s guys, so we had a lot to say about this one. Go and check out the rest of the episode and all of our bonus content, including my sweeping history of the Vietnam War nom tv putting episodes up all summer and into the fall you can do that at patreon.com slash nostalgia trap enjoy this bit we'll talk to you soon you skim the surface of all these things without really exploring any of them particularly well but then tried to like pull some alchemy at the end it then pulls it all together right and like explains why this matters or it's important or it happened and we don't get that right we don't really get the rage part we don't even really get the piece and you know we don't even get the facade part but we don't hmm. get the rage part enough like columbine comes up for a good 20 right. seconds yeah you know and again like right in that same moment you know there's just so much good work academic work and i think popular work about these things that to not have a single critic historian beyond like people who are on mtv to me, it just seemed like a real failure that you couldn't, you know, like Ryan Moore's book sells like teen spirit. He's like, he's really good on like how, you know, grunge, but is like part of this like slacker post Fordist culture. It's like a rejection of capitalism that ultimately fails is co-opted um, or, um, you know, it's it just a bunch of those books that are like really good on like nineties culture and all this they stuff. They didn't care to talk to those people. They wanted to, yeah. talk to they wanted to talk to culture writers. Yeah. Um, or even like Dave Cullen, like he's a journalist. He wrote the best book about Columbine I ever. I love that book. I mean, I love is a weird word because it's an incredibly no, disturbing <laughs> book, but yeah, I was thinking about Dave Cullen too, because I was, I, I thought if Dave Cullen is watching this, he must be cringing because oh my all God. they show is like a two second clip of the Columbine kids in one of their videos being like, yeah, fuck you. Like in the camera, very <laughs> aggressively. Yeah, and it was it's obviously meant to be like, look, these Columbine kids are the same guys that were in the Woodstock 99 crowd. And I'm like, that is so fucking stupid. Well, it's and so I far from the point of that book. His yeah. whole point is that all of those explanations, as we know about the culture wars, right? When you blame video games or popular culture as the sole sort of cause and effect of violence, that it ignores all the real causes of violence, mm -hmm. right? Like, and, it, and it's it's the same with blaming gangster rap for inner city violence or whatever, right? Like, it, it, it ignores the structural things, but also that book is so good at explaining why these kids were mad, what was happening in their lives, why yeah. they as white suburban kids felt the way they did. Yep. And quite frankly, they're untreated or, or partially treated um, depression and anxiety, right? Which I, to our earlier Well, he point, makes I, the case that one of them was like a genuine psychopath um, yeah. and that the other one was a depressed suicidal kid who kind of fell into it with him. Um, it's really a sad, sad, fucked up story. Um, but and it's yeah, very see, compelling though. Yeah, like, it is. It's and believable. It, like when you read, he goes through all their journals. He's read every little bit. But a guy like that could go like, you know, these like here's the context for kids this age behaving this way. Right. Like here's a, here's what they've been told about themselves. Here's how they behave within this context. You know, you like I write about it a little bit in my book and they're constantly told they're these kids. Right. Like that, mm, yes. that they have these problems right. and at some level. Right. They come to believe that their anger and all these things is legitimate and should be carried out in this way. It's very, it's, it's, it's more bass acrid than you would think about 90s culture. 